Decimals Introduction You know all about whole numbers. Numbers like 4, 76, or 532. In a number like 532, each digit represents something different. There are two ones, three tens, and five hundreds. What about a number like 532.19? This is a decimal. A decimal is just a number that has a decimal point. Do you see the decimal point in 532.19? It's the period in the middle of the number. The numbers to the left of the decimal point represent ones, tens, and hundreds as before. The numbers to the right of the decimal point are tenths and hundredths. Tenths and hundredths are parts of one. If you divide one into ten equal parts, each one is a tenth. If you divide one into one hundred equal parts, each one is a hundredth, and so on. So, what does 532.19 mean? As before, we have five hundreds, three tens, and two ones. But now we have some new digits, one tenth and nine hundredths. So we have a number that is bigger than 532, but smaller than 533. You can say this number as 532 and 19 hundredths. Let's try another one. 43.2 Four tens, three ones, and two tenths. Some decimals are smaller than one. These decimals start with a zero to show that there is nothing before the decimal point. For example, 0 0.24. You can say this number as twenty-four hundredths. Let's review the lesson.